Good morning, not financial advice. Do your own research. My name's Wes, and if you want to get started staking on zero to ohm and earning over 100,000% APY, you have found the right video. So what we need to do to get started is we need to set up an Arbitrum wallet, which is really easy to do if you use MetaMask. Just click on our little fox icon up here. Click where it says Ethereum mainnet. We'll scroll down. We'll do a custom RPC. I went ahead and deleted my wallet so I can go ahead and walk you through this step by step. So we'll paste this information in here to add this network and I'll put the link to this page that has all this information in the description below. The reason I'm using two separate windows is because if you do it in the same window, every time you click to copy and paste, your MetaMask browser shuts. So by just opening a separate window over to the side, it allows you to copy and paste in, you click save, and now we have our arbitrum wallet set up. Your balance will show zero there, but that is fine, because the next step we're gonna do is use the Synops bridge to get tokens over into this wallet. So this is the Synops bridge, and I'll have a link down below for it, and this is what we're gonna use to send our funds from our Ethereum wallet over to the arbitrum wallet we just created. So we're gonna need to connect our wallet here, and we're just gonna click through and give it the permissions. Okay, so now that we're connected to the Synops bridge, what we need to do is we need to swap this so that we're sending from our Ethereum wallet where we already have our funds to the Arbitrum network. It's gonna prompt us here to do that. We'll hit confirm. And now we see that it's from Ethereum to Arbitrum. So this is how we get funds into our Arbitrum wallet. And what you do is you just put in the amount of ETH you want to switch here. I don't have any ETH in my wallet right now because I accidentally wrapped it all, so I have a bunch of wrapped ETH uh, that I can't use for this. Um, I have an insufficient ETH balance, but you would click this button right here you would be prompted in MetaMask to confirm the transaction. You confirm that transaction, and that begins the bridging process. Now, I will disclose, this bridge took me just under an hour to actually be successful. So once you confirm it, just hang out, wait for a few minutes. Don't panic if it doesn't go through right away. There's a little box that popped up down here that told me that my transfer was taking place, processing. So if it takes a little bit of time, don't worry about that. I also heard other people say it took them about five minutes. So anywhere from five minutes to an hour, I would not be worried. Maybe even a little longer than that, depending on how much congestion there is on the network. Okay, so once your assets are finished bridging over to the Arbitrum network, the next thing we're going to do is head over to the zero to ohm site. All right, so now I'm on the zero to ohm website. I'm on the Arbitrum network with my wallet. I'm connected to the site. What I'm going to do here is hover over zero to O. All right, so now I'm connected to the zero to ohm site. I'm on the Arbitrum network. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over this Z2O button. I'm going to add this token to my wallet, clicking this, and then allowing the prompt. Add token. Okay. Now I'm going to come back here again, and I'm going to click Buy on SushiSwap. So SushiSwap is where we're going to transact to actually purchase our Z2O. The thing about Z2O, though, is that you can only purchase it using MIM, or MIME. It's magic internet money. Um, so what we need to do, if you don't have any MIM, um, on the Arbitrum network, which you probably don't, we need to purchase some them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this tab, and then I'm going to click swap. Keeps asking me to import the token, which is fine, uh, but I'm going to swap these, and then I'm going to change this to my E, which is what I just bridged over using the Synops bridge. So I'll have a balance here. I'll click max, and that's going to allow me to use that to purchase them. But what you need to know here is you need to leave some ETH in your wallet. That's how you pay the gas fees. Um, so you want to leave, you know, maybe $20 or $30 worth of Ethereum in your wallet. Because, again, that's how you pay your gas fees. If you don't have Ethereum, then you're not going to be able to make transactions, and you're going to have to bridge over more Ethereum to essentially be able to use the funds that you have in the wallet. So if you have, you know, 1 Ethereum or 0.1 Ethereum, just make sure that you leave, you know, somewhere in that 0 0.02 range so that you have enough Ethereum in your wallet to continue making transactions on this network. Um, so you'll do this. You'll purchase your MIM. You'll hit enter, so if we did 0 0.1, 440 mem, I'll hit this, it's going to prompt me in my MetaMask to hit confirm, hit confirm, and then what that'll do is it will process and I'll have mint in my wallet now. So then I can come back over here to my mem to Z2O pair, and I'll hit max and put all of my mem that I just purchased into Z2O, and I'll hit submit, so this was 40 or whatever, right? And that gives me um, about half of one Z2O. So I would hit submit. Again, be prompted by MetaMask, hit confirm. Once that process, I will now have Z2O in my wallet. So then I come back over here to the Z2O site, and this works you know, very intuitively. You hit stake, you click max. It's going to put the amount of Z2O that you just purchased here and fill it in for you. You're going to hit stake Z2O, and using some of that ETH that you had saved, you'll pay the gas fees for this transaction, and then your Z2O will be staked on the Zero Two Own website. Um, where you will be able to see your balance right down here. 
So your balance is going to go from zero because you're staking it to your staked balance. So I have 0.78 Z20 stake, um, and I can see all of my information down here, how I'm getting 0.9% um, every reward, and I can see my next reward is in 7 hours and 42 minutes. And over a five-day period, that is going to add up to about a 14.7% ROI, which is absolutely insane. Um, obviously, there's risk with this. None of this is financial advice. I'm just showing you how to do it if this is something that you do want to do. Hopefully, you found this video really helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a like. Um, check out my video it's on my page where I you know, walk through how to stake on other platforms such as Olympus DAO, Climate DAO, uh, Wonderland, and Gyro, which are very similar platforms as this. So if you're interested in this, you might be interested in those. I also have a video where I compare all five of these projects. So again, if this video was helpful and informative, I would really appreciate a like, and hopefully I'll see you over on my channel to check out some other great videos. Thanks, have a great day.